Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in copy isometric. Width is 60, length is 80, height is 72 plus 20. That is 92. So first we will draw layout. After drawing layout, we'll start with this lower block, which is 12 mm in height. So I will take 12 mm. And I will draw parallel line. So I'll get my first part. So we are done with first part. Now I'll take 12 mm from here. And I will draw a line. That is this line. And here we have a circle. So I need to take midpoint. See this is tangent, right? So first I will take midpoint of this 80. So that is 40. And from the center point I will go up. I have to go up by how much? 72. From that point, I need to go behind. How much I will go behind? I will go behind by 60 minus 28. So that is 32. After that, from that point, I will draw plus. And from center point, I will draw 20, 20, 20, 20. I'll get a rhombus. So this is rhombus. Now in this, we'll draw a circle by 4 center method. So first we will draw longest diagonal. This is point 1. This is M. This is 2. So we'll join 1 to M. So we'll get channel V. And from 1 to M, we can draw arc. Then 2 to M then 3 to M and 4 to M. Same way, 2 to M, you draw arc. Then 3 to M and 4 to M. See, this is 3, this is 4. After that, we'll take the circle behind by 28. So we'll take all the point. We'll take tangents also. See this, from this circle we'll draw tangent. And we'll take point 1, 3 and 4 behind by 28. See from 1 you go behind by 28. This is 1 dash. 3 you go behind by 28. That is 3 dash. And from 4 you go behind by 28. 4 dash. You take this radius. From 1 dash you draw an arc. From 3 to M you draw curve. So from 3 dash you can draw an arc. And 4 to M. So from 4 dash you can draw an arc.
after that you take point this is 28 minus 12 so that is 16 so you take point 1 behind by 16 that is 1 double dash and you take point 4 behind by 16 that is 4 double dash so from 1 you draw an arc from 1 double dash you draw arc you can draw tangent so you all you have already taken 12 so you can draw tangent like this now we need to draw that curve so again from 4 we can take this radius go behind by 16 and you can draw a curve and you draw tangent And you take midpoint and you take 4 4 on both the side same way at the bottom you take midpoint and you take 4 4 mm on both the sides and you can join so we are done with that inclined portion now we need to project behind see this we will draw a line behind and from here also we will draw a line behind wherever it will cut from that point, we'll go up straight. Now from this line, again we need to draw an arc. In the sense, we need to draw tangent. So for that, we need radius. This part. So what I'll do, I will take this point. 3. We'll take point 3 behind by 16. That is 3 double dash. And from that point, we'll draw an arc. So we'll take this radius. From 3 double dash, we'll draw an arc. Now, join this way. So this is how you'll get that part. You need to draw that curve and assume that it's a it's a tangent but you have to assume that it is going to meet over there and you have to draw that inclination see this part we can see the other other side which we can't see so that we need to construct now we need to draw radius 10 diameter 20 so from center i will take 10 10 and from here also i will take 10 10 and again we'll draw rhombus and with four center method again we'll draw a circle so i hope you people have understood how to go about this thank you in this also we'll do the same method by four center method we will draw a circle longest diagonal then again we'll draw channel v one two three four same method